Kane. Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Hi there, it's me, Mr. DNA, and I'm here to help you. Whew, how about that temperature, huh? I am so glad we got Hammond to put free ice pops into our employment contracts. He really spared no expense. This is good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. Or we swing it all the way for you. Better danishes. You have to kickstart it with your stun rod. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. Jeez. I want tasers on full charge. Oh, come on. Who tore up the cage track? I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. The raptor escapes? Yeah, Muldoon says to get up somewhere high so it can't reach you and only use our weapons as last one. How does this panel work again? Do I have to put in my zip code? Maybe it's my social security number. Huh. Here's a little knowledge for you. Team, move in there.
I have a bit of advice that might help. Cage ladders jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. Need a hand with something? No problem. No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. There's a raptor right under here. Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for a couple of more minutes. Just a little further. I have a bit of advice that might help. Oh, the one day I forget to bring scissors. Oh, come on, who tied this robe? What is that, a brief knot? It's never too late to learn something new. Oh, come on, it was there? I was so close. Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape, too. I want partial credit for that thing. It's basically mine. by the time I get this thing out. Yeah. A jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Uh, that might need some assembly. I keep finding our old, old coins. What? Really? That's amazing! Huh? How so? 
Well, until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? I own a spade! <laughs> Remember, Dr. Settler and Grant want us to be especially careful when digging up this fossil. Oh, sure. Do as I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. Six inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I hate computers. Feelings mutual. I give up. You give it a try. <sighs> DNA means I do no answers. Spelling, not so much. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up, uh, some, you know, uh, oh, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, uh, no, hang on. Hang on, I'll get in a second. Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> found a perfectly preserved Compsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch.
It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Stop it from leaning over and going around in circles all the time. It looks like the picture in the instruction. Shoot the radar into the ground and the phone bounces the image back. This program is incredible. Two more years and we won't have to dig anymore. Not in that. That thing looks like a six foot turkey. you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, 
I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. So you two, um, hmm, dig up, dig up dinosaur? <laughs> well, try to. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. Madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Thank you for choosing Jurassic World. Feel free to take a transport to the main holiday complex. No, no, it's this way. Come back! We have excellent safety standards. Ah, rats. They were our first customers. Mind, there's plenty more fish in the sea. You want to learn something new, huh? Then I'm happy to help. Ha <laughs> ha 
Any incidents? You got six kids in the lost and found, 28 down for heat, and some idiot tried to feed ice cream to a triceratops. Your assistant's online too. Zach and Gray are here. Tell her I'll be there in five. My sister's kids. Clean up your workspace. It's chaotic. How big is the island? Oh, big. But how many pounds? That doesn't make sense. Come on! Whoa. Hey, don't wander off, all right? Mom's not paying me for babysitting. Uh. Mm. Uncle Claire! Mm. <laughs> Zara here is going to take great care of you until I'm done working tonight, okay? Okay, so, um, have fun and take very good care of them, okay? Yeah. Mr. Mizrani, you are flying. I got my license. Okay. Now show me my new dinosaur. It's white. You never told me it was white. The Indominus Rex, our first genetically modified hybrid. Oh, she's intelligent then. Oh, Indominus wasn't bred. She was designed bigger. Scary. She'll be 50 feet long when fully grown. Bigger than the T-Rex. So the paddock is quite safe then? We have the best structural engineers in the world. Yeah, so did Hammond. There's an American Navy man here, Owen Grady. I know who he is. These animals often try to escape. They're smart. Yes, he's smart. He only thinks he's smarter. I want you to bring him in. Let him inspect the paddock. Yeah. Maybe he sees something we gunned. Oh, uh, heck! Sorry! Uh, it's stuck on one of the branches! All right, come on! Get the pig down here! What? Spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Alan, this species of variform has been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a monotheist thing. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. How do you do this? I'll show you. by me because they've only got herbivores on this side of them.
You'll find a great dino fat just down there. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. <laughs> Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA, the building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That is it. I'm kind of trying to attempt this. It's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a Velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. <laughs> they remember. Let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Come on, let's go. Come on. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You could barely put a goat in there. That's better. Now we just add cap. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel?
Taking you for a meal. Sorta. Fresh beef, huh? Oh, these raptors eat better than I do. must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. Appetit! 
What are they doing? Feeding them. The essence uh, of chaos. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park, you get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <gasps> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's alright, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. DNA means I do no answers. Spelling, not so much. Is this what's in the Lila? Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. dilated.
Dr. Sattler? She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sattler. I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Huh, where's the crank off the gate winch gone? I bet some greedy dino ate it. Once we get past this fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time.
DNA at your service. Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis, <laughs> our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead, all of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Five million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, these dock. <laughs> 